consider the following formula. Which of the following statements is true for the formula? To find the relationship between d and e and tell which one of these statements is true and false, we're going to need to graph the function. And to do that, we'll need to label our axes. Normally, our x-axis is our cause, and our y-axis is our effect. So if we take a look at our answer choices, we can see that something is always happening to d. If d is less than or greater than something, then that has a direct impact on e. So that means that we can label our axes. We'll have the easiest time visualizing this graph if we label our axes like this. d as our x-axis and e as our y-axis. And now we can find our intercepts to easily and quickly graph this. So if we want to find our x-intercept, where y equals 0, or in this case where e equals 0, then we would write our equation and substitute 0 in for e. So we'll have 3d equals 0 minus 3. 0 minus 3 will just give us negative 3. And then we'll have to do opposite operations. 3 is being multiplied to d. So opposite operation would be division. This will cancel, leaving us with d equals negative 3 divided by 3 is negative 1. So our first intercept is going to be negative 1, comma, 0. And then let's get our y-intercept, or where x equals 0, in this case, d equals 0. We'll rewrite our equation, and then substitute in 0 for d to solve for e. 3 times 0 will give us 0 equals e minus 3. Then opposite operations, we can add 3 to both sides. This will cancel, leaving us with 3 equals e. So our final coordinate point would be 0, comma, 3. Here I have plotted our graph, and I used our two intercepts. We had negative 1, comma, 0, so I went to the left 1 and up 0, and then we had 0, comma, 3, I went to the left or right 0, and I went up by 3. So now we can analyze this graph to help us figure out what our correct answer is. If we focus on our x-intercept here, we can see that all of the values to the right of this x-intercept, or that are greater than our x-intercept, have positive y values, or positive e values. So when d is greater than negative 1, our e values are all going to be positive. And then the opposite is true. All of the values to the left of d equals negative 1 have negative y values, or e values. So when d is less than negative 1, e is always negative. And that will help us find our correct answer. If we look at answer choice A, it says if d is less than negative 1, e is positive. Well, we actually have part of that statement here. When d is less than negative 1, E should be negative, not positive. So A is incorrect. B says if D is greater than negative 3, negative 3 would be here, E is negative. Okay, so let's put that on the graph. Negative 3 is right here. Greater than is to the right. These are all negative values so far, but once we past this point here, our x-intercept, all of the rest of the values are positive, not negative. So that makes answer choice B incorrect. C says if d is greater than negative 1, e is positive. Well, we have a statement that says exactly that. When d is greater than negative 1, e is positive, and that is true. This extends in the positive direction into infinity, which means C is our correct answer. Now taking a look at answer D very quickly, if D is greater than negative 3, negative 3 is here again, E is positive, this is not true because at first everything that's greater than this point is negative until it passes this intercept and then we start to get to positive values. So D is incorrect, making C our correct answer.